Hey, restaurant owners say they're combating more and more behavior just like this. And the impacts are showing. It's an issue sweeping the nation. I feel bad for everyone with the name Karen with some of the situations that have taken place. Excuse me! Give me the manager. Can you hear her talking to me? Customers making hospitality jobs a little more difficult. Oh. Yes. Symptoms for this could be snapping, clapping at people. There's even like physically grabbing of people to raise awareness about the spread. Sam Hunt, chef and owner of Counter and Biblio restaurant in Wesley Heights, taking to social media, highlighting the phrase. The customer is always right. <clears throat> isn't always true. What we're really trying to do is not necessarily tell people that they can't have a good time. It's just your good time can't affect everyone else's time here at the restaurant, including employees as well. And others are in agreement. He says in the past few years, the hospitality industry has taken a hit from the workforce leaving. Labor and development data shows workers in customer facing roles are quitting at a higher rate than other industries. And an August 2022 report from the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics shows hospitality workers quit at a higher rate that month than the record national rate. And the vast majority of those people who don't want to be in this industry anymore really left it because of the guests and how they are treating the hospitality industry workers. He hopes that with his post, some will find a cure to this. This is still a business. People are trying to earn their living. wanting to put the word care back in Karen. <laughs> that is so corny, but I'm down. In Charlotte, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte.